we've talked about the histogram, we've talked about the bar chart, we've talked about the frequency table, and now is the time for us to talk about the pie chart. My name is Abefe, I am a YouTuber, a content creator, and a full-time tutor, and welcome to my learning space. <laughs> chart is actually one of the data visualization tools we have the, in statistics that actually uses uh, a fraction of a circle known as a sector to represent the frequency of a variable or the data set. If we can remember vividly, we talk about the bar chart using bars to represent the frequency of the variable of interest. The pie chart on the other hand uses the area of the sector to represent the variable of interest or uses the angle suspended by the red eye to represent the variable of interest. The bar chart and the pie chart have a lot of things in common and some being the fact that they can only be used to represent categorical variable and if we want to use them to represent a numerical variable then those variables have to be a discrete variable. So the only difference between a pie chart and a bar chart is based on the fact that for a bar chart we are using bars, rectangular bars to represent uh, the frequency of a variable and for a pie chart we are using the area of the circle a fraction of the circle rather which is a sector to represent the frequency of the variable just like the bar chart uh, the frequency of each variable in the data set is proportional to the area of the sector or the angle suspended by the radar so that simply implies that the variable with the highest frequency is going to be having the highest area of sector or the largest angle suspended by the radar and the variable with the lowest frequency is going to be having the lowest area of sector and the lowest angle suspended by the radar when using a pie chart, the frequency of the variable can be represented by the area of the sector or it can be represented by the angle subtended by the radii. And there's a formula for us having our pie chart in terms of area of sector or in terms of angle subtended. For us to get this, let's go into our worksheets to see how it has been done. So for us to actually plot a pie chart or sketch a pie chart, we need our data set and uh, our data set needs to be presented to us in a one-way table. If you don't know about a one-way table, I am going to be linking a video somewhere around here or in the description so you can check it out. So uh, for our data set, I'll be assuming the example of uh, the color distribution of students in the class. So uh, I go to a school or I go to a class and then I ask the students for their favorite colors and this is the data that I have. So let's have a sketch of the table. So we have uh, the horizontal line right here, okay, and then uh, we have uh, the vertical line right here. So we have x which represents uh, the variable of interest which is called in this case of ours and then we have the frequency. So we have red right here, uh, we have blue, we have uh, black and then we have pink. So uh, the distribution says that uh, we have a total of 5 students having liking red rather. We have a total of 10 students that likes blue. We have a total of uh, three students that likes black and we have a total of seven students that likes uh, pink So I mentioned earlier that if you want to sketch your pie chart or you want to construct a pie chart It can either be done based on the area of the sector or based on the angle subtended by the red eye So uh, just like a sketch, this is what uh, a pie chart is going to look like So let me just try to sketch this So let's have this circle right here And then uh, this is going to be the sector, excuse me so let's just have a sector so this is going to be so this is one radius and this is another radius and this is the angle subtended by each of those radii that is this radius and this radii so uh, this radius and this radius rather so uh, and the area right here is also so this is the area of the sector and we have two radii so we have this radius and this radius so that's just what we need to know about the sector uh, so we can actually sketch our pie chart based on the area of the sector and also based on the angle suspended by the red eye. I'm going to be doing both of them so that means I can rub this off. Let's take this off. Alright, so uh, let's start with uh, the area of the sector. Excuse me. Uh, okay, so let's start with the area of the sector. So when it comes to us sketching our pie chart based on the area of the sector, uh, the formula for that is given as the area is actually equals to the frequency of the variable divided by the uh, the total frequency times 100%. So that means we are, div we are dividing the uh, the circle into fractions in terms of percentages. So that means we need to get the sum of the frequencies. So 
uh, summation f is going to be 5 plus 10 that is 15 15 plus 3 that is 18 and 18 plus 7 that is going to be 25 so that means our total frequency we can just write that right here our total frequency solution f is actually equals to 25 so uh so let's start with red let's start with red so for color red we have color red so uh the frequency of color red is equals to 5 divided by 25 times 100 so 5 divided by 25 that gives us 1 over 5 times 100 and that gives us 20 percent so the color red in the price chart is going to be taking 20 percent of the area color blue we have a color blue right here and that's going to be 10 divided by 25 times 100 uh, so uh, when we do the math so we are going to be having 1000 divided by 25 and when i use my calculator to work on that so we are going to be having 1000 rather this is 1000 so we have 1000 divided by 25 and that gives us 40 so this is 40 percent so for color black we have that to be equals to 3 divided by 25 uh, times 100 and that's going to give us 300 divided by 25 and when we do the math 300 divided by 25 that gives us uh, 12 percent and for color pink so let's get color pink uh i think i have my color pink right here so this is color pink okay yeah exactly excuse me so uh let's take this out so let's just write pink so this is pink all right so for color pink we have a seven divided by 25 uh, times 100 and that's going to be uh 700 divided by 25 times 100 excuse me so that's 700 divided by 25 right there and when we do the math 700 divided by 25 and that gives us 28 percent so if we sum up all of those areas so that is 24 20 percent rather plus 40 percent plus 12 percent plus 28 percent that gives us 100 percent so as you can see the variable with the highest frequency which is uh blue uh, is having the highest percentage of area so we can also have a sketch of that so uh, let's just have something like this so excuse me let's change this to black all right and then we have uh, a big circle so uh, we are going to be having something of this nature so let's fit all of these percentages into the circle so the total area right here is 100 percent. so that means half of it is going to be 50 percent so we can just draw this right here to know that this is 50 percent up here this is a uh, 50 percent down here so that means uh 40 percent is going to be something like this so uh 40 percent is this area right here which represents blue so we can let um so we have 10 percent left here so uh, let's represent black so black can be somewhere around here so this is black right here and this represents uh 12 percent so we have to clean this let's just clean this excuse me yeah let's clean let's just clean this all right so this is 40 percent uh this is uh 12 percent so we have red left so red is going to be 20 percent and uh so let's just split this so this is going to be 20 percent and uh the pink is going to be 28 percent so we can have 28 percent right here so let's just use the pink marker so this is a uh, 28 percent and this is how we've sketched our pie chart based on uh the area of the sector so we can also do the same thing but this time by the angle subtended by the red eye so the formula uh, is still the same thing just that we are going to be replacing this 100 percent right here with 360 degree so i'm going to just uh, move this up a bit okay exactly so when it comes to us representing the uh the sector in terms of the of the angle subtended the formula is our uh, area is actually equals to uh f which is the frequency of the variable divided by summation f times 360. so uh let's talk about so let's start with red so we have so let's just uh extract this table it's actually needed so let's zoom out a bit so we can just extract this out so let's just bring this here let's paste this here so 
for color red so we have red red and so that's going to be equals to 5 divided by 25 times 360 so when we do the maths 5 times 360 that gives us 1800 divided by 25 and we will do the math 1800 divided by 25 that gives us 72 degree So the next is blue so we have this to be blue right here so blue is going to be equals to 10 divided by 25 uh, times 360 and that's going to be 3600 divided by 25 and uh, 3600 divided by 25 that's that gives us a 144 degree so it's time for black so for black we have uh, for color black we have this to be equal to 3 divided by 25 uh, times 360. Uh, so 3 times 360, that actually gives us 1080 divided by 25. And that gives us 43.2 uh, degree. And for color pink, so let's just try to get our pink color right here. So this color pink will be right here. Okay, so this color pink. So color pink is 7 divided by 25 uh, times 360. So 7 times 360, that gives us 2520, 2520 rather, exactly, divided by 25. And uh, that gives us 100.8. So now that we've actually gotten the values or the angle subtended for each of the colors, so it's time for us to actually sketch our pie chart in terms of the angle subtended. So, um, Let's take this towards the left. Okay, so let's uh, sketch as a uh, value. Oh no, it's supposed to be. So let's sketch our circle. So we have uh, something like this. Yeah, this is perfect. So we know that uh, from geometry, we know that the sum of angles in a circle is equal to 360. So the halfway mark, which is uh, the semicircle, is going to be 180 degree. So if we have this to be 180, so 144 should be somewhere around here. So this is just a sketch. So this is going to be 144 degree. Excuse me. So we can have this. So this is going to be 144 degree, something like this. So this is 144 degrees. So that represents so that represents blue. So let's have a sketch for 72 degrees. So 72 degree can be somewhere around here. So 72 is red. So please, this is just a sketch, it's not run to scale. So we have the next which is 100. So 100 can be somewhere around here. Excuse me. So we have this to be 100 degree. So uh, uh, we have 43.2 degree rather. So this is our 43.2 degree. And uh, 100 degrees is going to be somewhere around here. So this is going to be 100.8 degree. And this is all sketching our pie chart in terms of the angle subtended. So let's just give that. So this is angle subtended. And the sum of all these angles will give us will give us 360 brother. So if you enjoy this class or you learn something new, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on notification to get an alert once I release a new video. Thanks for making it to the end of the video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.